Hi, I'm Darren, developer of the Playbook apps for the iPad and iPhone. In this video, I'll give a short demo of Playbook Football for the iPad. I'll draw up a 7 on 7 end zone pass play. To get started, I'll tap on plays, then tap on the plus icon, and then start editing my options for the play. In player settings, I can choose to display anywhere from 1 to 11 players per team. For this play, I'll choose 7 for each side. I can also set each player's position here as well. Each of these settings can be changed at any time, so you don't have to know what you want yet, and you can set this later. In field settings, I'll choose the goal line field, so we can set up a short touchdown pass. Note that the field type is the only setting that cannot be changed once a play has been created. With my players on the field, I'm going to set up each team's formation. Playbook Football begins each new play in the edit mode, on the place player step. After setting up the formations, I'll tap on the next button to begin drawing each step for the play. First I'll have the center hike the ball to the quarterback. Then on the next step, I'll set up my wide receivers and halfback to run a corner route, a drag route, and a flat route. Since football plays happen very quickly, I'll have the quarterback pass the ball to the halfback while he's running the flat route. After the halfback gets the ball in the next step, I'll have the player run into the end zone for the game-winning score. With the offensive side of our play done, I'll switch over to view mode to animate the play. First I'll tap view mode, then I'll tap play. If I had wanted, I could have also drawn up the movement for the defensive players as well, which works the same way as moving the offensive players. Thanks for watching this video on Playbook Football. Playbook Football will be available soon on the iPad and iPhone on the iTunes App Store. For more information, please visit my website at www.darren.com.